goodies welcome back to my channel this is officially episode six this week has been crazy so my little one was a little bit sick one or two of the days so um we had lots of cuddles on those days and not a lot of crochet but um yes it is my second week at my new job um i do love working even if it is only part-time hours it's definitely nice especially to have more routine i'm still taking day as you know day as it comes with my time management as i've spoken before it can be very difficult um, but yes we are using and working with what we know and what works but this week also very exciting my friend cassandra from craftably ever after sent me a parcel from denmark from hobby i wish i could open the bag and show you and be all excited but i could not wait to record it because when i saw the bag it was just utter pure utter joy so here's some of the cotton uh, one is a rainbow cotton 86 and this is rainbow cotton 84 there are a few more colors it's just i can't hold it all in my hands let me just tell you oh it's amazing getting gifts like this it's amazing so in my pure excitement i started doing two new projects on the side just because i couldn't wait to test the wool i've only started testing the 86 so far uh so i can't show you those projects because they are not finished as you can see there's the gingerbread duck there's joseph from my nativity scene he's got no hair no coat nothing it's just because i got so excited to test out this new yarn that i just couldn't hold back however some finished projects for this week is my donuts i've spoken before it's for my daughter's birthday so these are just plain ones that i tested with um, i haven't started doing the actual animals yet but just so you can see i've used different yarn on each of them this one was uh oh sorry let me start with this one this one i put eyes on look at that little drip how cute is that this is a 50 50 blend i used obviously cream and beige 50 percent cotton 50 percent acrylic i must say this is lovely it's also nice and soft and um, i will tag for the pattern it is from the donut book so this is also same pattern just with different wool the 50 50 at the bottom and i used 100 percent cotton mix at the top i must say if i look at all three of them the one with the cotton mix or the cotton itself looks the nicest um it feels also this it feels the nicest this i used acrylic as you can see i did not oh, look at my join i didn't do the drip this i did in one piece these are two pieces as in donuts and then icing drip this is a one piece and this was me being lazy <laughs> but it does work if you're looking to make mass amounts of donuts go for the one piece if you want the drip you can always add a back stitch in there and just i don't know if you can see it yet if you can see i just did a single crochet around just to give it a bit of an edge give it a bit of a texture if i want to say that but three donuts done and um, i'm going to start with animals now because these are beautiful they are just so cute so that's to go towards her do not grow up too fast second birthday it's only going to be two little mates with her so let's make it special for these girls and even though i've got two work in progresses sitting on the side not even done yet because i'm hopping between the two it did not stop me from buying a new pattern so if you can see oh it's flipped this is the gingerbread bear that just came out from straw animals there's the goose and i've got the deer still these patterns let me just say they are beautiful they are really beautiful it's very relaxed when she says put your decreases on the side you can just you play with it i can't say that it's like for a beginner but it's not difficult they're really not difficult if i was a beginner i'd definitely start with something a little bit easier but I must say these are easy for me. I'm not an expert. I'm simply your mediocre crochet. I think they're beautiful. I think they're lovely. 
and you can really play with it. I can't find the little pellets and pebbles to put in it, so I've done soft stuffing. Next week you will see this little boy finished with some embroidery on, or not, not, not maybe embroidery, maybe a little bit of cross stitch, give him a nice little pattern on his jersey somewhere, see what I can come with. But otherwise, one of the ladies that previously commented on my post was talking about um, my little spuchtuk. So that is the comfort blankets for the little ones. I am going to try and look for some patterns for borders that, um, yeah, maybe we can make it together one day. But I'm going to look for some border patterns for those of you that would like to give it a go. I'm going to tag it in here for you. Uh, it is what you want and how you want to do it. That is the beauty of a spuchtuk or a cuddle blankie. Um, it's basically a tiling nappy with an embroidered applique on it. With the applique, we normally just embroider it directly onto the tiling nappy because it's just nice, easy, doesn't fray, doesn't come off. But it is your choice. I'm pretty sure you can go and get an iron on applique at your local haberdashery, iron it on, even if you just put in one or two little hand stitches around it to make sure it's firm and it's not lifting. As we know with the little ones, if they find a corner, they will pick it. But yes, that's all I have for now. And um, yes, up until next week, I'm very excited that... Uh, I get to play with new yarn. How exciting. So let me know what everybody's doing, what everybody's up to, what's everybody making. I know everybody's going crazy for Christmas, which is a few weeks away. I have not even started. Haven't even started. But thank you so much for joining me. Until next week, ciao, ciao.